hello welcome to my channel this is my intro this is the beginning of the video the video starts now you want them to smell this like you smell like sweet you smell you smell sweet you smell like you're a sweet kind of person do you know what i mean so that hi welcome to my channel so i'm gonna be looking hair and hair because i get distracted so welcome to my channel so today it's all about my natural hair how i got my hair curly basically so let me just start from the get-go. So my hair was dry as F. So basically, if we was on a desert island and we was trapped and we needed to start a fire, I could basically cut my hair and just rub it together and then we'll all be safe because of how dry my hair was. But now I don't have that problem. Well, it's not a problem if you're on an island, but I ain't got no dry hair problem. But I want to tell you the story of how I got my hair curly because it wasn't like this. My hair literally used to just grow upwards. And I want to show, I want to share with you how I reverted my hair to get a little bit curly. Like you could say yes, I could say this is curly, looks curly to me. Yeah, how I got my hair curly. So I used to get my hair done in the weaves all the time, and I feel like what was important to me when I used to get my hair, my weave done, was the look of the weave. It wasn't like my natural hair. I didn't give it f. I didn't give anything. I didn't care about my hair. I used to date basically. Wear my weave, wear it for two months, not care for like my hair underneath. Of anything, like I'd even go swimming and like, could you imagine the chlorine in your hair and you don't try to like wash your hair, I'll just leave it. I'll just leave it and I'd take my weave off, my hair would just be dry and I wouldn't care, I'd be like, okay. Let me just go get my hair done again. So basically I, have, I wouldn't take care of it, I'd wash it, wouldn't even condition it. And then just go to the hairdresser and be like, can you, you know, put my weave back in? Well, not the same weave, but sometimes it was, if it was human hair and... I recycle that. I really, really do, really, really do recycle that human hair. Yeah, because it's expensive. Anyway, so that's what I kept doing and I didn't care for my hair. My hair just was growing upwards. And I actually liked it because it looked like a typical, stereotypical, like, afro. And it was so big, it was so out, like, it was, like, long as well. But I had, like, a cut-off cut length. My hair didn't want to grow any longer than these. And, like, hair as well, like, I feel like I'm getting, like, a cut-off length. It doesn't want to grow any longer. But it's getting a lot thicker compared to before. So, anyway. So, I was doing all that, making my hair, damaging my hair, not deep conditioning my hair. And it was just growing in an awful state. Or it was just up, 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 up. I liked it, but then I was, like... I started look, looking at YouTube videos and I was thinking, how are these people got curly hair? I thought everyone had hair like me, but my sister's hair was a little bit curly because she took care of it a little bit more than I did. And I was thinking, is there something wrong with me? Like, why does my hair do this? Like, I just grow upwards. And my friend, like, really was like, does your hair, how does your hair grow like that? And I was like, I don't know, it just grows upwards. Anyway, I like this outfit. Let me just give you a quick view of my cold set. Oh, it's nice, isn't it? Boo. Anywho, back to the video. And then I guess distracted. Um, yeah, so it was just growing upwards. It was dry. If you was in this island, I could start fire for you. Anywho, now it's not like that. But the thing is, there's pros and cons to it. Because I actually like that style of the big afro. Because I feel like I look like a powerful sister. Like, out here like me and my afro. Do you know what I mean? But then I was like... Let me try taking care of it after looking at YouTube videos. And then I was like, oh, to my sister, do you see this? My hair's getting curly. Like, and she's like, no, because you know when you see it before anyone else sees it? So it started getting like, my hair strands looked like it was straight, but growing upwards, but it was frizzy because I have a I'm black, I have a, I have frizzy hair, do you know what I mean? So it's just going upwards in a straight strand. And then I see it start to do this, like a wave, SCCO shape. And I was thinking, okay, I'm into this. I'm going to keep looking after my hair. So every week, on a Sunday, I call it the hair day. I haven't done it, I'm, I haven't done it so religiously now because oh, I'm just gonna be bothered. But I need to because that's how I get got my hair curly and I want to see where my hair can go to. So um, every week I would deep condition my hair, leave it in with any sort of deep condition I liked because some some deep conditioner didn't do anything for me now. But I would have my deep conditioner, I'd put olive oil in it, I'd leave it in for a couple of hours and then wash it out. And I kept doing that and I kept moisturising the hair because my hair needed moisture. Any time I put product in my hair, it was like my hair was just eating it 
because it was so dry or just eating it and I was like I used my sister's product and she shouted at me because I used all of it and she's like why are you putting all of this product in your hair and like I was like because my hair's eating it so I had to get my own product we even had like a little argument about that anywho enough about that so I've just started looking after my hair doing like a little hair care every week and during the week I'd also re-moisturise it I don't need to really do it so much now because it's like hydrated but then it could be every like day or every other day I needed to be put up back into my hair because it was just like calling for help. But then I started seeing my hair, my hair coming and I was thinking, what? This is you? This is your hair? So then I just cut off the weave. I stopped wearing weave because I couldn't take care of my hair and I started making wigs. Um, but there was a time when I was really into making my wigs. That was, That is when my hair was like growing fast. It was growing fast. Like I remember I cut my hair like, really sure my mum was like what have you done and I was like it's gonna grow it's fine but um it did grow and it grew really fast and it went back to that weird that like length I have this weird like cut off length but it did grow but then I started not wearing a wig and I started having my natural hair out and that's where it became the problem because I became lazy with looking after my hair and I remember I started working and I was like I can't be bothered to do my hair every day blah blah I basically used to have my hair in a bun and then it started turning into dreadlocks and I was like oh, I have to wear a wig I think because I got so used to wearing my natural hair and I felt like when you have your natural hair it suits your face more because your hair is growing out your face but then I didn't wear frontal wigs so I was probably like, I don't want to go back to wearing a botched hairline sort of thing. So I was like, ugh, making me sad. But I was like, my hair's not growing anymore and it's looks, looking ugly. And it's looking kind of thinner because I'm not taking care of it because it's getting knotty and I have to keep, like, taking out the knots. So I was like, okay, I need to get into wigs again. So, how I actually got my hair curly. Basically, have a week to decide. Have a, a day of the week or every two weeks where you feel like you need to wash and condition your hair depending on what your hair is like you might need to do it more often or you might need to do it more less at the, mo less. At the moment I'll probably deep condition my hair every two weeks or every one week but I used to do it like weekly and that's my hair liked it weekly but I'm a little bit lazy but I'm just being honest so I'll do it like every two weeks every every other week or every week and then I'll just moisturise it with any product. Let me show you some of the conditioners I've got. Deep conditioners I've got. I'm a fan of deep conditioner. I would show you. I have like a box there I would show you. But my floor looks really ugly. So I'm just going to pick one by one. So this is actually new. I haven't tried this. But I bought this when I went to London. But it's hair mayonnaise. And I it's massive as well. And I bought, I bought hair mayonnaise before. But not by this brand. So I just wanted to try it and see. Mm. It smells interesting. It smells like actually like my nose. So I just like to buy any deep conditioner. This is big. But I've used this before. But it's quite steamer. But it was quite good for my hair. So this one here. Yeah, I've used this before. It's not really expensive. I find that I used to work use sheer moisture as well but I feel like it's really expensive and it's not it's giving me the same quality as when I use this so I'm like what well, I'm not buying it's like I'm just buying the brand so I was like I'm not gonna buy no more 10 pounds when I can buy this for £2.49 and this has more product in it £2.49 and I feel like it does more to my hair than the sheer moisture I'm not gonna spend 10 pounds when I can buy £2.99 and buy like bare like what does that even like sense yeah so what I did to get my hair curly was basically weekly moisturize my hair deep condition my hair I first started off with kind two I really liked the hair and I really it changed the texture of my hair too I feel like this video is all over the place it changed the texture of my hair this is the kind two I actually got on here this is the kind two I used to use it smells nice I think it smells really really nice and um yeah, I just love the smell. It smells like candy. It's something that like, you want to smell like. It's something that like, you want your hair to smell like. Like, if you're walking past someone, you want them to smell this. Like, you smell like sweet. You smell You smell sweet. You smell like you're a sweet kind of person. Do you know what I mean? So, that's why I like Cantu products. Because it smells nice and it's actually good from here. But I find, when I use this, and I used to have my hair out. This I'd use if I'm wearing a wig. But if I'm having my hair out, I work because in my hair, it leaves white residue. Like this white spots and everyone used to think like I have like some next sort of like a dandruff attack. But I think it's probably because I'm mixing it with the um, Eco Star gel. 
so that's probably why it does that random white residue stuff but I love the smell and it's kind of like my favorite because it's like I can't go wrong and I like I feel like this is what I don't know it's just my first journey of using it and it just changed my hair and I liked it because it's like who are my babes me and you go back so I like that product but now if I use it I use it when I wear a wig and it also makes my hair really, really like, it changes the texture. So when I, like, oh, to the point I even got scared, I thought my hair was going to like fall out. I was thinking, what my hair gets really, really thin and starts to fall out? Because it starts to feel a little bit silky and I'm like, I don't think my hair's supposed to feel like that. And then my sister was like, I don't think your hair's supposed to feel like that. Maybe your hair's going to fall out, but I didn't and it was fine. I liked it. Yeah, and so now I'll use this moisturiser. Just to moisturise moisturize your hair. But I feel like I like products that are like a little bit oily. So this one's quite oily. Um, when it comes to water products, I feel like it comes out of my hair too quickly. And I have to keep re-moisturising my hair. But because I'm lazy, I just like to use really oily products. So I don't have to keep um, touching up with the moisturiser. I can just braid up my wig. Like Basically, what I do now, braid up my wig. Braid up my hair. And then wear my wig. And then I'll have that braids for a couple of like, I can do it for days, like three, four days and I'll have the same braids in my hair. It's not even a braid, it's a flat twist and my hair will be fine. Whereas if I use a water product, the next day I have to redo it, the next day I have to redo it, the next day I have to redo it. Because my hair just eats it, I don't know why, it's like some, like it's like an eating monster, it's like kind of like me. Like it's eating, my hair likes to eat too. So we've got like something in common. Anywho. I think that's probably it from the title, from the little thumbnail, I'll probably find a video, a picture there, if I can find like a video or whatever of how my hair used to look like, I'll probably try and insert it in somewhere. But all I can say is that it used to grow upwards and people who know me will probably know that yeah my hair was like, like just growing up and it was a proper powerful afro but now it's like curly and I like the curls too. And it's nice, I think all hair is nice. Anyways, so that's my little hair journey. That's how I got my hair curly, by moisturising. I could probably say a little bit of routine of how I moisturised my hair. And that would basically, I'd use oil, olive oil, in my hair. I'd also use like, a, then I'll use like a moisturising product. So say if I had, I have olive oil. So say if I had this, I'd use that as a moisturiser. And then I'd use like olive oil, here. And then if you want like a gel or something, you're doing a twist that you can use any gel. I used to use a Cantu gel, I don't use the Shim more. No, what's that? Cream, no, what's that brand called? I don't remember the brand, but that was also my favourite one as well. Is it called Africa or something? No. I don't remember the brand. But I, oh, I don't remember, but it's hurting my feelings now. But I like, I remember I used to really like that product because it made my hair really curly. I'll insert a picture here. Of when I used that product. Um, yeah, so. Oh, I'd use like it. I use like an eco style gel on my hair as well. Or if not, then I just like braid up my hair and put my wig on. And that's how I'd moisturise my hair. I feel like you should need to find a product that's best suited for you, what your hair, you need to try, it's like a try and error. But that's basically it. That is how I got my hair curly. I think the most important thing is, is deep conditioning your hair. I do that weekly because your hair wants to have moisture and you need to clean your scalp. Because when I think about it, I used to like just let my hair just dry out. And you just, because you have, when you have curly hair, the moisture, it doesn't travel to the, your hair doesn't get greasy and it needs your hair, the hair needs grease, like it needs grease. So like your scalp will like produce that oil and all the good stuff, but it gets stuck at the scalp. It doesn't want to travel down to your ends. And the problem is that because it's stuck on your scalp, you're clogging up your like scalp and your hair doesn't want to grow and then your hair doesn't get nourished from that good grease in your scalp. So you've got a problem there. So you need to really keep putting, you need to wash your hair because you need your like little holes in your hair follicoids to like open up so your hair can grow but then you don't want to dry out your hair because your hair needs moisture to grow so it's kind of tough having afro hair but you just need to take care of it and how I best take care of it is basically moisturising my hair, putting on the wig 
and that's how I go different wings but I actually prefer having my normal hair out my natural hair out because I feel like it makes more sense but I struggle to take care of it when I have it out all the time because I get lazy you know it'll just end up being around the bum and then it turns into a dreadlock and um which is a sad story because then you get that awkward length then you're that battling with your hair but now I'm gonna wear a wig but it's summer so I want to have my hair out so I can breathe and feel like a little bit refreshed but we'll see how it goes and wigs kind of damage your hairline so it's up to you really, but I'm just telling you my story of how I got my hair curly. So it's moisture, moisture, moisture. And in my case, moisture, moisture. But if you can look after your hair, you don't have to wear a wig. But I am lazy, so I'm all about moisture, moisture, deep condition, deep condition, moisture, moisture, then deep condition, moisture, deep condition, and then wear a wig. So thank you for watching. Now I'm going to style my hair, but I won't put that in this video because it'll be too long. Bye.